But maybe the heat will get us by creating more air pollution. That's what the Natural Resources Defense Council, or NRDC, said in a report titled Heat Advisory. It sounds plausible because smog forms when emissions of nitrogen oxides and volatile organic compounds bake in the heat of the sun. However, the NRDC report is fundamentally flawed. NRDC uses emissions from 1996 to predict, in quotes, ozone levels, smog levels, in the 2050s. So we're already about 30% or more below the emissions of 1996, and emissions continue to drop because of fleet turnover to cleaner vehicles, because power plants are getting cleaner, uh, and most of those emissions are gonna be gone in, in about 20 years, and by the 2050s, there's gonna be hardly any air pollution in the air. But NRDC assumes that we're gonna have 1996 emissions levels in 2050. Like heat-related mortality, air pollution levels have fallen as cities have warmed. U.S. air quality should keep improving regardless of climate change.